Every Premier League manager reacts match day nine. First, 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 thirteenth, thirteenth, thirteenth. Maybe if I had two hundred and twenty million pounds to spend on new players, I'd be in the top four too. That's why we're so at the Premier League. After that performance, I salute Timo Werner. And unusually for someone connected with Chelsea Football Club, my salute has nothing to do with a Nazi party. Blah, 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 blah. He said it was a clear headbutt by Pepe. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, sorry, boss. He actually said he will demonstrate that it was a clear headbutt by Pepe. Oh. Clear red card. That was unacceptable from Nicola Pepe. Now he's bound for three games. But there's still no chance of him playing in those games than Mesut Ozil. What a signing! What a signing! Bruno Fernandes, David Kutz, the referee. We're so impressed with his performances this season that we've already offered him a contract extension. David Kutz doesn't know what he's doing. He's the refereeing equivalent of Boris Johnson. Carlo, are you surprised by Dominic Calvert-Lewin's scoring streak? Yeah, can't you tell? This is my surprise at face. That was embarrassing. Losing to Brighton? No, having Danny Welbeck score against us. Danny Welbeck. Embarrassing. Danny Welbeck scoring from an Adam Lallana assist. It was like watching The Walking Dead out there. I've never been sacked in 20 years of management, so I'm not worried about getting the sack now. You should be. What? It! <laughs> this is yet more proof that we don't want the West Ham fans back anytime soon. Keep the bastards out, I see. We're better off without them. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why Liverpool sacked Brendan Rodgers, OK? All I can say is I'm glad Liverpool had seven first-team players out. Otherwise, we'd have lost 9-0. I'm thrilled to get our first win of the season. I've told the lads to enjoy this sweet taste of victory. It could be a while before they taste it again. Yes, I can confirm my willy has returned a positive test for the disease that is on everyone's lips at the moment. Herpes. And in other news, Wilfred Zaha has COVID-19. It really is a double whammy. If you told me at the start of the season we'd be above Man United, Man City and Arsenal after nine games, I would have expected us to be in the top four, not ninth. They truly are awful. That's Theo Volkart's first goal for Southampton in 15 years. Now he's almost as prolific as Roberto Firmino. The new range of 442's merchandise is out now! Ooh! Oh! Yes! Love it! Ooh! Order yours now to get it in time for Christmas by using the link in the description or click on screen now. Hurry up!